Okay, this is Swagger without being given the heel command. <laughs> All over the place. Dogs are not going to heal themselves. Hi guys, it's Julie and look where I am. I am at beautiful Baker Park. It's a warm fall afternoon and I'm here with Swagger the Cocker Spaniel. This is a very challenging session for him. We are going off property every day in his final week. And this guy gets super, super distracted by anything. It could be a leaf blowing in front of him and he just like loses his mind. And that was one of the things his owner was complaining about. It's like, I, I try so hard to keep my relevance to him and he's just distracted by everything. You stop him from eating something, he's on to the next. He's pulling, he's zigzagging, he's marking. He's just doing everything but paying attention to you. We're gonna discuss that and the use of the e-collar, but the way that we work through that is we set a foundation of obedience. So we teach the dog, we make sure the dog understands all the commands. We proof them, meaning we add distractions and we teach the dog to hold the commands even with the distractions. And then we bring it out into the real world and we say, yes, it even applies here too. And that's where the dogs learn and that's why the owners see success going home. All right, so let's see his heel. I'm gonna show you my use of the e-collar and show you all the distractions. I love coming to the lake because we've got this road here. So we've got cars as a distraction, but we've also got the lake, which means ducks, geese. Um, there's other dogs, there's runners, there's people pushing baby strollers. So just every kind of distraction that you can think of, mostly for a guy like Swagger, who's a real confident guy, it's gonna be tempting to, for him to go towards these things. That's what we don't want. We don't want him lunging towards runners, people, other dogs, even though it might be in a friendly way, it's really hard to take a nice walk with your dog if they're constantly lunging at everything else. We want him prioritizing me. And I'm gonna discuss how I do that with the e -collar. Here we are. It's a beautiful day at the lake. We've got the road on the right, the lake on the left, and then anything that comes our way on the sidewalk. All right, so we've got Swagger in a nice heel command. We know by now that means walk at the left side, follow my pace, follow my leg. Anything outside of the heel command, we click our remote. So if he gets distracted by a leaf, a squirrel, a person, a dog, we correct on the e-collar. And then if we need to, we recall him back. So this is the accountability button. Without that, he is gone. And I learned that when I let him out of the car before I gave him the heel command. He just immediately started dragging me to anything he saw. So this tool right here is going to be your best friend out in public while you're having him in command. He really loves his free time and I'll show you that too. It's going to be a balance of the two like I discussed in yesterday's or I think the day before video where you're walking him in heel. This is a nice calm working walk and then you get to a destination of your choosing where you give him a break. So now he can go sniff, mark, potty, run, be free within reason. So we've got some skaters coming up and some people coming up. So if he makes a mistake, that's when I click my collar. If he doesn't, no collar. Oh yeah, you're so good at walking. Holding you go. Good, that was a tap on the tone. <laughs> So he was tempted a little bit by that person right there, but I decided to use my tone and it brought him right back to me. That is the end goal. We've got quite a bit more people coming up. Good, this is what he's learned. So you might see his heel get a little messy when we pass by a person or a dog. And the reason for that is he's now splitting his brain. So for example, right now, he's able to focus 100% on heel but when something presents as a distraction, good. He now has to split his brain and think, do I go to that person or do I stay in heel? He's gonna get better at splitting his brain. It's gonna look easier and easier the more he does this. That's why we come to a place like this. So he gets practice. Good, he took a look at that person behind us and kept going. Here is a person and their dog sitting up here on the right. I don't know if you can see. And notice my leash is not tense. It's loose, so I'm not holding him back. He's making all of his own decisions. Is that right there? I tap my tone, he closes the gap. Beautiful job. 
Hej. Good. Good boy. We're gonna turn around here, walk by this baby stroller. Doing a wonderful job. So we've got people in a baby stroller coming up. Good boy, buddy. Pays no mind to them. Stays glued to my leg. Good job. Notice as I turn, he's turning with me. That's because he's paying attention to my left leg. Such a beautiful day at the lake. All right, so I hope that explanation was clear on when I use my e-collar and for what um, when he moves out of position. He's definitely not going to hold himself in heel. He definitely needs his handler's help with that. Um, and that being the accountability factor. A bike just zoomed by us. All right, so we're gonna do a couple more laps around the lake in heel and we will probably end it with a downstay. Make sure he can not only heal by distractions like people and baby strollers and other dogs, but also hold a stationary command around them too. Thank you. Okay. Swagger. Yeah. Break. Come. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Heel. Good. Off leash healing in the park. That would have been impossible last week. Good boy. <laughs> Wonderful job. Good boy. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. Stay. <laughs> Down. Good boy. Come, good boy, sit, what a good boy, heel.